on today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, Elvis played here, New Year's Day, 1955, Houston, Texas. Learn a story on today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Stay tuned. The Bopping Hillbilly, his name is Elvis Presley. Well, 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 I'm on the horn, my baby, as tight as I can tonight. She'll know I'm a mighty, mighty man tonight. Heard the news, there's a good to rock in the night. So this was the Eagles Hall here on Louisiana Street in Houston, Texas. Elvis, Scotty Moore, and Bill Black had a show on the evening of New Year's Day, 1955. Elvis rang in 1955 inside this building. Incredible, incredible. I'm gonna dig a little bit more and look, teach you guys or tell you guys a little bit more about what this place was. Eagles Hall, when Elvis knew it. Here's an advertisement from that January the 1st, 1955 show. It says, don't miss Houston's hoedown jamboree. Elvis Presley, singles, that's all right. I don't care if the sun don't shine. Also featuring Biff Cooley, George Jones, Saturday night at the air-conditioned Eagles Hall, 8 to 11 p.m., dial 123-K-N-U-Z. So if you went to this show 69 years ago, January the 1st, 55, and saw Elvis, you also saw a young George Jones performing that night on stage inside the building we're about to explore. So that definitely, that definitely was an entrance at one point for this building. You see the columns and the rows in the, I guess, atrium area. And the Eagle, this was the Eagle's Hall. And this is the Lone Star State, so you have to see that. Howdy, partner. So guys, I have made it upstairs. I am told this is where Elvis, Scotty, and Bill performed January the 1st, 1955. The building starts right here. I'm walking inside. This would be the back wall of the building. Look at the bricks. So we'll just kind of give you an idea what it looked like in here when it was the Eagles Hall when Elvis played. So now it's an office area, but look at this. I wonder, I'm sure that was a part of the original building. Maybe. I'm not sure. This floor has to be, right? Look here. So yeah, you can, uh, the office area is for lease, so this would make a really, really cool office. Let's see if I can turn the lights on. So this gives you still an idea of how big this place was. So I assume the stage was back in this area. Perhaps right here. Another office area made. So if you're in Houston, Texas and you love Elvis Presley and you want to actually have your offices at an early Elvis concert venue where Elvis was on stage with Scotty and Bill 
1955 to start their 1955 year. They're here. I believe the show is at 1030. I'm going to pull it up right now. Check that out. 1030 it says. The stage could have been right here. This is the back of the auditorium. The lobby would have been up there. We're, we're going to walk here in a second. But yeah, I put the stage back in this area, of course, just by the layout of the building. But if you're in Houston and you're watching this video and you're looking to rent an office place, this place is the place to be. And I'm putting the leasing number now. Give David Greenwood a call. He was nice enough to allow me to come inside this building to film this episode for you guys. You see the windows? Man, oh man. Another office space. I mean, this looks original. Right? Or has that been added later? And that's the probably original floor. I really like what they've done with it, though. They've just taken an old building and revamped it and used it for um, 2022 and beyond. An Elvis location, luckily, that we still, guys, we still have here. I don't want these buildings to be knocked down. They need to be saved, and the history needs to be known on these episodes that you guys can learn of early Elvis concert venues like the Eagles Hall here on Louisiana Street in Houston, Texas. The Lone Star State, I love the place. My home away from home. I'm a cowboy at heart. Walker, Texas Ranger Chuck Norris. Used to love the show. So yeah, this is the front of the building. I believe the entrance just is down below, downstairs, where the, uh, there's a tanning salon in there. Wow. See so, out. Yeah. You can. You see that pink Cadillac pulling up back in January 1955? It would be the pink Cadillac that burned in Texarkana about six months later. That's the car that would have been here with Elvis, Scotty, and Bill. These bricks could talk. What would you tell me? What was that show like that night? So, you know, standing back here, you can, you can see how wide this room was. So, yeah, this was a... I'm sure they had some fun here. More office spaces. Here's the main office, probably. So if I had a business that needed a lot of uh, space, I'm renting this building out just because of the history. Knowing what took place down there, the end of that wall. In my opinion.
So I don't know. I mean, looks original. Definitely looks original. So like perhaps this starts the dance floor and it ran all the way back here. All the way to the back wall. And then, perhaps, so perhaps, so guys, perhaps, right back here where this area ends, maybe the stage was right here in this space. Well, uh, there's still for that room. Interesting. Wonder if that's just added. Perhaps the stage was right here. I, I, I think the stage is back here against this back wall, just by the layout of the building and knowing that I found the entrance on Louis on the front street there in Louisiana. That was the entrance. So there is a strong possibility, guys, that back here, where I'm standing at, here in this back office, right here along this area, strong possibility once upon a time, Elvis is right here on this location singing That's All Right Mama, Maybelline, all those early, early Blue Moon of Kentucky Elvis songs. And he would have looked up and saw that beam right there from that stage. If I'm in the right place where the stage was. Somewhere in here. The Bopping Hillbilly, his name is Elvis Presley. Well, 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 I heard the news There's a good rocket tonight I'm gonna hold my baby As tight as I can Tonight she'll know I'm a mighty, mighty man I heard the news There's a good rocket tonight I heard the news There's a good rocket tonight Before we go any further I'd like to introduce to you The members of my big orchestra up here In case you don't know who they are I've only I've only got two estimates on the stage They're both boys the boy here on my left comes to you from Memphis, Tennessee. One of the finest basemen in the business. Let's play house. Oh, baby, 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 baby. And of course, back here, back on the front wall, maybe, because uh, I, I walked back out here and explored, maybe you entered the building from the back, of, back in that that wall back there and maybe the stage was back here along this wall so I'm making sure to cover everywhere and if that's the case Elvis Scotty and Bill could have been on the stage right in this area I just don't know Maybe someone will be able to remember being at that show and can uh, go back in their memories and let us know. 
where exactly that stage was in this building because I mean it could have been in the middle I doubt that because I'm sure they would want to utilize as much of the space as they can cool hope you've enjoyed this episode of glow trotting with Trey as we explore this old Eagles Hall building that is still here in Houston, Texas for us to stand in and learn this story. Early Elvis concert when he's first starting out playing all over the Lone Star State. Elvis was here once upon a time in his life. His music ricocheted off these walls. So I remember guys how I mentioned like earlier that this section had to, been, had to be added on. Look at the fire escape ladder still here that we know Elvis liked to climb up because there's pictures of him climbing up the one in um, California. So they've built a staircase here. Cool. Maybe Elvis climbed up that one. Goofing around one day. Guys, let's walk around the back. Check this building out. There's no doubt, a doubt, no doubt about it. This is the building that Elvis was at and he played and we're gonna have to walk around the other side. So here's the back of the Eagles Hall. That's the original part. I believe that's been added on at some point. Just, you know, you guys can get the essence of what the building looked like. When Elvis probably parked right back here in the back, he, Bill and Scotty, and they probably unloaded somewhere back here. Already by just looking at it, I see that there used to be like a door or something right here, right in front of us. Of course, this building has been added on. It looks like there used to be a door right there. So yeah, somewhere back here, guys. One of those early, well, New Year's Day 55, Elvis is driving that first pink Cadillac that burned in Texarkana a few months later. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey and learning about the Eagles Hall that Elvis, Scotty, and Bill played in January and March 1955, 69 years ago. Actually, yesterday, 69 years ago from when Elvis played inside this room. And don't double dribble, subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey if you haven't already to stay updated with every new Elvis video each Tuesday and special ones here and there. And until next time, I'll see you down the road. Now you have Palm Beach Tan here, Coach's Pub, Gotham Pizza. I feel like I'm in Batman. Midtown Nail and Spa and Miller. My family may own that side of the business. All right, guys, so I'm in Coach's Pub here on um, Louisiana Street in Houston, Texas. So back in the day, this is inside the Eagles Hall building where Elvis was. I've learned that downstairs, now we got a picture of this. You can see the layout of the bar and how big the room is. This pretty much is the size of the building from I'm standing here at the door. And uh, back in the day in 55, what we think just by what... Um, the owner of the bar has heard over the years about the building. Down in the bottom level, like where we are, was like a dance hall, a concert, venue. concert venue, uh, a dance hall and area and stuff. Here, upstairs on the second floor, was a concert venue. So, there's you know probably if that's the truth, Elvis performed upstairs, and I'm sure he was down here hanging out somewhere. I can't say it was here, but I know that this whole building was opened. So, one of these spaces, no doubt. Somewhere.
Elvis concert was. We're inside the building. So I can say Elvis had a concert January the 1st, 1955. Elvis, Scotty Moore, and Bill Black, no doubt about it, was inside this building once upon a time in their lives. So come in and uh, hang out at Coach's Pub next time you're around this area in Houston. Another place we could put Elvis. Let them know Glow Trotting with Trey sent you. So guys, what we've learned is upstairs, they said that I can see some of the sill in there through that window. But that was the concert venue. So I have no idea, of course. If I can get inside, I'm gonna try. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so I am inside Gotham Pizza here inside the old Eagles Hall building. Just another part of the building that's been transformed into another business, which is, I guess, cool because the building is still here. That's the most important thing. So if you're in Houston, Texas, make sure you come into, into Gotham Pizza and get you a... I looked at their menu. They have a lot of uh, Italian dishes and um, pizza choices that you can choose from. So you see how big the building is, the bar area. Check this out. Oh, we can get a pizza that big? Uh, there's a 30 inch pizza, the white one. That's a 20 inch? Uh, no, 30 inch. Wow, well, a 30 inch. So you can get a 30 inch pizza. So that's, that, that's a giant, like I said, a giant slice of pizza. I think y'all might need to name a pizza after Elvis yeah. since Elvis was in your building, so. But yeah, guys, so make sure you come out to Gotham Pizza, right? It's Gotham. Here on Louisiana Street in Houston, Texas, somewhere. Maybe, perhaps, right over here. Elvis had a concert. Once upon a time in his life, January the 1st, 1955, Elvis was here. And you can be too. Come check it out.